Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video, we are going to learn about the usage of an activity that is nothing but get OC or text. You might be familiar like uh, maybe if, if you are uh, good at UiPath coding, you might be familiar with this activity, you might have used it many times, but still it is important to watch this video to understand the technology behind this, how this is going to be working, okay. So in order to, uh, maybe if you are a beginner to this uh, UiPath, it helps you to understand the benefits of this activity, what is OCR and what is the technology behind this and the usage of this uh, get OCR text, like how to use it. A simple example, okay, fine. Now, before going to uh, understand, I mean, the usage um, of get OCR text, it is always advisable to understand the concept first. What is OCR? Can anyone? Yes. OCR means optical character recognition text. Optical character recognition. That means to recognize the text from images from a digital document or a scanned copy or a PDF, fine. So whatever comes under this criteria, when we are going to work with these kind of documents or a scanned document or any image or a PDF, fine. In order to read the text from these criteria, we need some technology to get the text. That is nothing but the OCR. Let us see in detail about this OCR technology. This is nothing but optical character recognition technology. Scanned documents camera images and image only PDFs. So all together the digitalized documents, fine. Whether it is an image or a PDF or any document. When there is a text in this kind of documents, we need a technology to get the, to read the characters, to read the text from this, fine. That is nothing but optical character recognition. So now, how how it is working okay we we understood that in order to read the text we need this technology but what is this next technology what is the logic behind this technology how it is going to function fine on a high level just just on a high level no need to uh, break our heads to understand the algorithms or uh, uh, the main uh, logic behind this but but still it is always advisable to know the concept in order when we are uh, working on a particular technology right fine so on a high level OCO technology functions in this way first it reads out the letters to the uh, on the image then Put the letters to a words and then to a sentences, thus enabling access to and editing of the original content. So this is how it is going to work. Fine. It is concentrating on the letters of the image. Then based on the letter, the letters, it is going to frame the words and sentences and thus enabling the access both in uh, to read and write. That means to access to and to edit the original content. Fine. Now. Well, let us see how this technology been embedded in UiPath. Okay. Does this need any artificial intelligence? No, because it comes through the OCR technology itself. So no need to go for explicit uh, AI, okay, artificial intelligence. Because UiPath itself came with few inbuilt activities in order to use this technology. Fine. How? That is nothing but we have few OCR engines available with UiPath. 
what are those anyways i am going to cover a separate full fledged video on this ocr engines and what is the best ocr engine so nothing to worry i am just covering the high level of this uh, on this ocr engines because our main agenda is to concentrate on get ocr text usage right this is an activity for beginners okay so what are the ocr engines available in our ui part we have few paid uh, subscription and few free subscription ocr engines in ui part so some among them are microsoft ocr microsoft azure computer vision ocr google cloud vision ocr omni page ocr tesseract ocr abi document ocr ui part document ocr so these many ocr engines are Uh, comes along with ui part fine now just just have a, a a high level knowledge on this so we need these engines in order to utilize ocr technology while getting while reading the text from scan documents or camera images or image only pdfs that means digitalized documents whether it is an image or a document when we are going to read text from digitalized i mean uh content then we need to go for ocr technology in order to use ocr technology we have few engines available in U, uh, ui path this this knowledge is enough to go with this activity to use this activity fine let us cover more in detail on these ocr engines in some of other uh, um, videos in our in our upcoming videos fine now let us concentrate on get ocr text activity fine please open your ui path studio along with me and try this uh, simple example so that you'll never forget to to use this activity okay so what i did i just created one separate file that is get ocr example and then if you go to activities and type ocr you will get to know how many engines are there if you see here google cloud vision ocr these comes as inbuilt no need to download any any uh, other new packages okay uh, microsoft azure computer vision ocr tesseract ocr uh, uh, ui path document ocr screen ocr if if you just go through each and every uh, engine it it clearly explains you uh, the usage extracts a string and its information say for example tesseract ocr extract a string and its information from an indicated ui element using tesseract ocr engine it can be used with other ocr activities how many uh, such ocr activities we have see if you see here ocr text texts click ocr text double click ocr text hover ocr text find ocr text position and get ocr text fine now in this video we are going to concentrate on the use case of get ocr text the, that is nothing but this activity fine what it is doing if you scroll mouse over to this it explains extracts a string and its information from an indicated ui element using the ocr screen scraping method this activity can also be automatically generated when performing screen scraping along with a container this is included in ui path ui automation activities package fine now what we our agenda is to read a text from a digital document for that let us have an image okay what i am going to do is i am going to have an image i just opened uh, one of the websites maybe say for example academyuipath.com where i am going to take a screenshot from this so let us consider this and save this fine so when i open this so this is going to be my image okay 
my screenshot. So this is completely digitalized one. So I am going to read the text from this screenshot. Fine. If you, if you see this is a .png file where I am going to read the data from this file. For that what I am going to do is in my uh, UiPath sequence I am going to use get OCO text. Fine. Get OCO text. If you see when I uh, drag and drop this get OCR text onto my sequence, the default engine what it has taken considered is Tesseract OCR. Fine. This is Tesseract OCR which is nothing but the Google OCR type. Okay. So by default the default OCR engine of get OCR text activity is Tesseract OCR. Now let us see the usage of this. So how I am going to uh, use this is I am going to indicate the element. So this is my image. So I am going to select this. Just click this. So it's been selected. And if you see the properties of this particular activity, the output, in the output we have text and words info. So I am going to read the text from the image. So I am going to give a variable. So whatever data I am going to read using this activity will be stored in the string variable. It is of type string. So I am going to use str text from screenshot. Okay. So this is my string variable. So this is going to be my, screen, uh, my string variable where the entire data from the screenshot comes and sits in this. I mean store in this. Fine. So th that's it. Now I'm going to save this string data into a file just for our understanding. Okay. For that what I created, I have created a folder called image data. In that I'm I have created a text file txt file under this folder okay fine now i'm going to write this text to that file using write text file activity i need to give the input which is nothing but the string variable which came as output from this so let us rename this this is always a best practice to rename the activity okay so now uh, and the file name I am going to give here which is nothing but under image data I have created text from image.txt this is blank now so I am going to use this if you see this, it is completely blank. Free file. Fine. Simple, right? I am going to use get OCO text activity where I have indicated the target UI element, which is nothing but the screenshot which I took from UiPath Academy site. Then I have created, I have given a string variable to capture the text which is read by this activity. And then I am going to write the content to a file using write text file activity. Fine. Simple. Right. Now at background just open this image. Now give a run. Give some time so that it will compile and consider this image as input UI element. So it's going to read the data. If you see it is the expectation is to read complete all the words, all the letters and sentences from this image, right? So let's see the output. It is still running. I hope you are doing this along with me, right? So fine. Now the output is at the file, right? Just refresh this and open this file. See, it has read something from the screenshot but it is not completely accurate fine so instead of ui path it has read it as path and then this is fine 
okay this is also fine and this is fine and at last some different uh, yeah characters and it, it is not readable right so something went wrong when you compare this with your screenshot fine it's not accurate now let us see how to increase the accuracy since the activity get OCR activity has considered Tesseract OCR as its default OCR engine, let us make a change, delete this and take one more OCR, try with some other OCR to increase the accuracy. So uh, for example, if you go for Google Cloud Vision OCR, it expects the APIs, okay, API key which again comes with subscription. So let us utilize the free ones. Say for example, UiPath document OCR. Let us give a try with this. Okay, simple, that's it. Just save it at background, open the screenshot and then give a run. I hope you're practicing this along with me, which enables you to concentrate to understand the concept very well fine this is fine now been successfully executed now just refresh and check the file close this just refresh and check the file compare with the screenshot let me increase this yeah you see UiPath Academy, Home, Dashboard, Courses, Learning Plan, Certification, fine, all good, maintenance, scheduled maintenance, very good, afterwards, fine, super. And the world's first free, okay, and open line, online automation training platform, perfect, right? So this is how we can increase the accuracy of the text which we are going to extract from a document okay so that's how the OCR enables us to read data from the scan documents or the digital documents or the images okay this is how we use get OCR text if you are uh, not yet clear on this usage please go through this video again and again until you get confidence on this and the concept too if you like this video, please do subscribe our channel and pass this to your friends too. Thank you so much for your support so far. Happy learning and happy automation. We'll meet you through our next videos. Bye-bye.